Layers of petticoats, puffed up sleeves, an embroidered blouse and a hat meant to look like horns. Felicity is donning the distinctive traditional Herrera dress. She's attending a wedding in Ovitoto, a village in Namibia, and all the women are wearing these heavy outfits. To show that you are here, you're a woman, you have to wait. It's a must to us, especially if you are married. Those half naked is not allowed. Every time, every time, if there is, whether there is a wedding or whether there is an occasion or whether there is something, you have to wear it. The patterns and types of cloth have evolved, but Herrera women have been wearing the same style of dress for a century. It appeared after the German colonialists quashed a rebellion, killing more than 90% of the Herrera population before the First World War. The survivors imitated their Victorian style, but with a few tweaks, like the hat, a symbol of the Herrera's most precious asset, their kato. I think it's a response to saying, like any people who have been subject to severe genocide, attempt to exterminate them, they 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 pull into a very defensive and very proud and very specific cultural mode and they'll still practice that wherever they go so even if they're in Botswana they're still wearing the full Herrero dress. The older women wear the dress all the time even in the city while working but the younger generation only donned the heavy outfit as a show of respect for weddings, parties, funerals and Herrero day. Today is a day where you should have fun, you should wear, you should be free to wear whatever you want, to mix in. And tomorrow is when you're supposed to wear um, the dress and so forth, yeah. Because then the bride is leaving, things go sad and all of that. It's mostly the eldest ladies wearing it. Unfortunately, because of the way the world changes, young ladies have to go to work, and so they don't wear it regularly. On the second day of a Herrera wedding, the bride is paraded, hidden in front of both families. It's also the occasion for some teenagers to wear this dress for the first time, a sign that they're becoming women. Herrero men, however, don't have any special garments. In this group, women are the keepers of the legacy.